<laughs> Hi, this is Tisha Copeland at Not Your Mama's Quilt Store, and we are playing today. Yay! Is anybody on there yet? Am I talking to myself? Yes, I am. So we're just going to wait until somebody comes and joins this party. I need somebody to come and join the fiesta. Where are you? Got a viewer. Yay! Who is that out there? Can you tell anybody? Say hello to us. We need a hiya. So, hiya. Laura says, Lori says, hiya. All the way over there. <laughs> so, you know what today is? I'm from San Antonio. I know. Cool people come from San Antonio. I get it. So, I'm from San Antonio, and today marks the first day of Fiesta. Yay! They have the oyster bake going on today down in St. Mary's. I wish I was there. I'm so bummed. That was like always the big kickoff I was ready to go to. So, all my friends in San Antonio, hola! Espero que estás derretando mucho en Fiesta. Y dame dos semanas y ahí voy. Para fiestar con ustedes. Yes, that sounds like so much fun, right? Basically, I said, hey, I hope everybody's having fun at Fiesta. Give me two weeks and I will be down there to play with you. But in the meantime, let me show you what we've got new in the store. I haven't done this in a long time, right? It's time to do it. Okay, let me show you some great things we got in the box. Mm -hmm. They got them in so fast. They got them on the shelf before I even had ch a chance to take them all out of the box. But this is a good thing because remember a couple of times I've opened the box and it was an hour's. So this is a good thing. Some stuff that we've started getting in. Allison Glass Sun Prints. These are the 2019 Sun Prints. Love them. Love them. If you love Allison Glass from Andover, her designs and her colors and her prints are all made so that they all work together year after year after year. But she comes up with a different design, like this one. Come up close and look at this. Look at these fun, fun, fun printing. This is a gorgeous mustard color. I don't know if you can really tell that. It comes in different colorways with the typewriter print like that. So it's a little bit darker than it's showing in the video, just to let you know. Okay. All right, because it's showing really light in the video. Mm. So this is a mustard color. Like, I could put this all over my hot dog, okay? <laughs> it would be good. Or all over my taco. Ooh, who puts mustard on a taco? That's gross. But this I, is avocado. Okay. So this is also darker than it shows in the video. Irene Will Allen says, howdy from New Braunfels. <gasps> Yay, New Braunfels. I love New Braunfels. Sorry. One of the first German towns in Texas. Yes, that's right. With my German friends here in the store. It's New Braunfels. Um, and Bonnie Landon says, hey, Tisha. Hi, Bonnie. You're missing the class today. We've got Ellen teaching the intro to improv so look at these gorgeous fabrics they read as solids from far away but up close you can see the print what does it say i know some of you all are going to ask me that live in the new in integrity and freedom holding our breath the unknown is all right and blah 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 let's see there is more of the same intensified serious severe fruition it's business it's personal how about in home people i don't know what this is from but it sounds very serious i don't normally read all of them but i thought i'd read a little bit for you i don't know what it's from don't ask me but look at this other one so allison glass loves to do these little tiny prints of stuff and this is white on kind of um chartreuse color which is kind of that yellowy green this is more yellow in person than it is in the video okay so this is going to be kind of a chartreuse and you can see the little moths right here and these little flowers oh look at the little upside down seahorse 
um, strawberries, turtle. It's hard to tell which way is up or which way is down because they go each way. It's like this little turtle is uh, right side up right there for you. These are the same thing. They look like they're right. But then if you look at them over here, they look like they're upside down to me. But look at these fun little prints. For you to just get an idea of what size they are, let me show you what the right here next to the ruler. You can get an idea of how big the prints are kind of uh, next to a ruler. Really cute though. Again, it reads as a solid from far away, but up close you can see all the little design, which is one of the things I really love about her stuff. And this is part, it does incorporate some of the little designs from um, her road trip in line that we just had. We still have a little bit of it left, but it does incorporate some of her designs for that. Look at this other one. We got lots of her stuff in this week. This is a beautiful turquoise with some of those little mustard color roses on there, mustard colored flowers. I tell you what, what if, what if, you say <laughs> what if you hit a thumbs up and then share on Facebook tag somebody in the comment section to come over and watch the video and I'm gonna give away fat quarters <gasps> what if I do give away <laughs> one fat quarter in this orange chartreuse color one in the green Ooh, we could do one of the <gasps> ooh turquoise. Yeah. So this That's... color is turquoise. It's not a true blue like it's kind of showing in the video. Okay. And then what if I did another one of those little tiny prints like that? Ooh, four fat quarters. Does that sound good? Yes, give me a thumbs up if you like that. Now start tagging your friends and tell them to get over here and watch. We've already had two people tag some friends. All right, tell them to come over here and watch and give us a thumbs up and share this post. And your name is going to go in a drawing for four fat quarters. That's right, from Not Your Mama's Quilt Store in Plano, Texas. So I'm gonna set these aside because somebody is going to win these. So I was showing you some of these little flowers. Here's another one that's really pretty. Oh, I might have to put that in the giveaway too. This kind of dark yellow. It's a gold color and it's got pink flowers. You know what? Let's put that in there too. Thank you Ooh. for sharing, Linda. And Mary, thank you for tagging your friends. Actually, both Marys. Woohoo! So yeah, look how gorgeous that is. I love that. So we have got some fun colors. And this isn't all we've got. We've got some gorgeous pinks and purples and oranges. Um, seriously, if you have not used the Allison Glass um, sun prints, you have been missing it because she just has the best colors, the best colors to put in a quilt. So let me show you what else is new in the box this week. I'm gonna move this over here. Oh, binding buddies. Look how cute these little binding buddies are. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's hand painted. Look, she has a little headband with flowers on it. And so what exactly is a binding buddy? A binding buddy, Baby. binding babies, sorry my boss says babies binding babies so a binding baby yep there we go they're binding babies <laughs> by doohickey designs doohickey designs sherry butler and they're made in utah so it's made in the usa Yes, Mary, you do need one. They are fantastic. I know. So when you make your binding and you have your long binding and you pre-make it and then you got to get the quilt quilted right, so you can wind your binding right here and you wind it all up. Don't turn it too fast because she gets dizzy. So do it slowly like this. Then you can put her or him. I think some of them are little hymns. No, are they all hers? Oh, they're all hers. Oh, they have names. You're holding a 
<laughs> How do I know Ava's name? This is Ava. Hi, Ava. Little besitos. Okay, this is Ava. So you wrap your binding all the way around this. And then you know that extra spool holder you have on your sewing machine? You pop that up. You can set this down because see right here there's a hole. So you put that right there on the extra spool holder just like that. And it will unwind for you as you're putting the binding on. How cool is that? So these also come with this cute little flower like this. And it looks like a separate spindle it's got the little flower and a little tiny post uh what do you call it rod that comes up spoke spoke that's it a little tiny spoke that comes up and it'll unwind like you can set it right there but those haven't come in yet they're on back order what's up with that but that has it oh look my secret assistant in the cia <laughs> brought me this one. look it's the look big the sister <laughs> this is Julia, Julia, as we would say, where I'm from in my country, which is San Antonio. So look how cute. This is the tall one. This is the short one. The short one is um, short, like me. <laughs> I don't know. Christine's That's shorter a... than I am. Hey. Look, so the short one is four inches and, and tall four and a quarter ones. inches. And the tall one is six inches, but how cute. So these go right on their binding babies. And again, like I said, they're all hand painted. The little, the prices, what are the prices? Oh, the little one is $19.99. This one's $19.99. And the big one, Julia, is $22.99. How cute are these? Can Ramona come play? Ramona can come and play too. Another one. You're Ramona. right, Irene. There should be some boy binding babies as well. I thought so. Yeah. I think there are. We just might not have them in the store yet. We'll have to see. Look. This is Ramona. Quiero presentar Ramona. La hermana de estas dos. How cute is she? She's my Mexican spirit animal, spirit girl, spirit spool, whatever. <laughs> spirit baby. Spirit baby. She's my spirit baby. This is Ramona. Ramona and Ava and Julia. So, so cute. I have these on the website, but if you can't find it, you know what, give me just a little bit, give me about an hour and I'll put it on the front page of my website. Yeah, and then when you go over there to notyourmamasquiltstore.com, you'll be able to see it on the website and we can get that in the mail to you. Did you know you can order stuff with us in the mail 24 hours a day? You can shop 24 seven with us. Did you know that? Yeah, just like Amazon. Okay, so. We're not Amazon though. We're better than Amazon. We We're not your mama. We are not your mamas, is right. <laughs> so, okay, I gotta put my toys away, but oh my God, aren't they so cute? Are y'all still tagging people so that they can come over and play with us and see all the goodies that we have? Do you yes, want to like, win? comment, share? Tag your friends, tag that way you can win these gorgeous fat quarters. Yes, look at these. You want to win this little stack of fat quarters? You want to win the stack of fat quarters? Do you want to win the stack of fat quarters? Then you need to be tagging a friend in the comment section and be like, hey girl, go over and watch Tisha because she's giving away stuff again and go ahead and tag it, okay? Maybe if we can figure out how to do this, we will have a drawing like right after we're done. Let me see. I got to figure out how to do that. Uh, Christine's eyebrows just went up. She's like, okay, how are we going to do a drawing when I can only see one comment at a time? So we'll have to come back to do that. We'll have to do it after the live, but we'll do another live if you want. Okay. Because I'll know how to do that. Well, maybe. So y'all have all seen these wool mats, right? Have you seen these wool mats everywhere? I have. They're 
perfect ironing mat. Love them. Love them because when you iron, you don't get a crease in your fabric. By that I mean, you know how when you iron your seam to one side or the other or right down the middle and then you have that little wrinkle where the seam is? Well, this is going to prevent that, to have that little wrinkle where the seam was when you iron it because it's got a soft back. But you know why I like this one? It fits on a TV tray. Yes! You know what that means when it fits on a TV tray? Do you use TV trays as ironing boards next to your sewing machine when you're at a retreat or at a friend's house or at a class? No, you have to Yeah, if you do, you need to say, yes, I do. Give us a thumbs up. Yes, I do. So now you don't have to make a little ironing board cover for that TV tray. If you haven't been using it, you're behind the times. Let me tell you. I started doing this a couple of years ago because I didn't have one before and I'd jump up and I would go and iron over at the ironing board when I was on retreat and then I saw somebody with a TV tray in my store and I was like, what's she doing bringing her lunch and sitting at a TV tray? What's going on? And then she pulled up and she had the ironing board cover she was ironing on. I was like, genius, genius. So found these, they fit the TV tray, a wooden TV tray. Use it as a mini ironing board. It sits right next to you when you are on retreat or when you are at a class or when it's too far to walk in your sewing room because sometimes it's like three steps away and it's so far, you can use this instead. Or you could put this right next to you, but the TV tray is so cool. So this is the big one. It's 13 by 19, it's wool as an ironing board. This one sells for $52.99. And we've got them in the store. They are the bomb. And last, I want to show you. Well, that's a great tip. You can get individual TV trays at Walmart for $8. But you do want a wooden one when you go get that because the wooden ones are more sturdy than the little plastic or metal ones. Remember those little metal ones our moms had? They had the, remember, and they always get rusty, but remember the metal ones and it was like a real tray, like it dipped down in the middle and you could carry it. But then they always had this beautiful like, uh, painting like a basket of fruit on the TV tray picture. <laughs> Remember that? Yes, yeah, or a cornucopia with vegetables because that's where you're going to have your food. Yeah, and it couldn't roll off the edges. That's a good thing. That could work for some of us quilters and not rolling off the edges. That's something to think about, especially with those dadgum pins everywhere. <laughs> Speaking of pins, let me show you these adorable pin cushion patterns we just got in. Okay, you're gonna have to take it through the plastic. I hope it doesn't glare too much. Look at the little snails. These are my shadow. Can you see the little snails? These are little pin cushions and you can see they're gonna be small because look at the little buttons next to them. Just got these in. This is from a company called, what's it called? Sewn? Sewn. Sewn Wyoming. Sewn Wyoming. You know, sometimes when you look, I write the word sewer, S-E-W-E-R, and it looks like sewer. So that's what I was trying not to make a mistake when I was reading this, because it looks like sewer, but it's sewn. These are little snails. Look at this one. Little pears. And they're little because see the little tiny buttons around it, how cute they are. Oh my gosh. Mary's asking, would you do a YouTube for some of these? Like to do, like how to make them? Oh, I love that. I don't see why not. We can. We can do a little tutorial. We can them. do a tutorial. You know how shy I am though. I don't know if I can um, muster up the, <laughs> the uh, uh, my stage fright and see if I can put it aside. I'll try. I get terrible stage fright when I see myself talking. Hey, you know what? That's Christina's husband out there. <laughs> they went to go eat sushi, I bet. Okay, Christina works here. I see her husband walking around out there in the parking lot. Should I go get him over here in the movies? Anywho, 
Okay, look at these little pineapples. They're small. They're gonna be the size of a little spool of thread. How cute is that? Little pineapples with little felt tops. Love that. Here's more little pears. Oops, don't fall. Tilly the mouse. Look how cute she is. Tilly, Tilly, Tilly. She looks like she's in a rage. Her hands are up in the air. Well, no hands, ears up in the air. That's a cute one. It's a hoot, a little owl. They're little tiny ones that are right here sitting on the spool of thread. How cute is that? Little tiny ones. Is she wanting to know the price? Yeah. Looks like they're $7.99. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. So little tiny um, uh, pin cushions. And then this one now this one's not as small as i expected the other ones to be but it is still pretty small it fits in the palm of your hand from like your fingers to your hand right there your palm it's not quite as small as the other ones you can tell by the spool of threads the spools empty spools that are sitting there but you can see that it's a little bit bigger not as small as the other ones but still just as cute as anything now, the funky thing with this one, and I don't know, this is really funky to me. We had a big laugh about it here. You see the little stem right there? So, the strangest thing they tell you to use for the stem, I need you to read this. Look at this. One silver spoon. A silver spoon for the stem. You know why? They want you to cut it off. It tells you to get bolt cutters, cut the spoon handle off, wrap it up, cover it with fabric, and then use that as the stem. Okay. That should be a lot. <laughs> Tisha with bolt cutters cutting a spoon. <laughs> that would be a YouTube video, wouldn't it? <laughs> but cut my finger off first. So yeah, I don't know, that's kind of weird. We all voted for a little cinnamon stick in there or even a fake little stem from one of the fake flowers we have, I mean, we plant our flowers outside. They're fake flowers. They live all summer long in the Texas heat. I got it down. So those are, um, though that one she has is a spoon handle, which I don't know, I don't get. But this is a little bit bigger. All of these patterns are new in the store. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything today. Look at this one. How cute is that? I've got the five fat quarters we're going to give away. You got to see all the little baby, no, binding babies. Look at them. It's like the little sister and the two big sisters, except for Ramona, she's my spirit baby. <laughs> so we have all these fun things to give away and they are so cute. No, not all of these to give away. This is what we're giving away right here, but you have to tag somebody and you have to tell them to come over and watch the video and you have to give us a thumbs up, okay? All right. So, I hope you enjoyed everything I showed you. If we get some more stuff in today, who knows? Maybe I'll do it again. If not, you might have to wait till Saturday or Sunday or Monday. I don't know. All depends when we get boxes in. Sometimes we get them in every day. Sometimes we go weeks without a box. And then it's like starvation mode. But starvation like I've ever heard of that <laughs> okay but it is so this is Tisha Copeland not your mama's quilt store in Plano Texas on Friday afternoon we're happy to see you thanks for stopping in have a fun fiesta